Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can work with the user flange uh, user flange option which is coming under the generator sheet metal design workbench in KTAV5. So user flange is basically uh, creating a profile and uh, making your flange according to the profile. So you have two ways of invoking the user flange. One is by going to the wall toolbar and one is by going to the insert walls, swept walls and user flange. So as I've explained in my previous tutorial on uh, basic user flange, here I'm going to explain the real limited option which is coming under the user flange. So in my previous tutorial I've explained you all the options which is coming under the basic and in the real limited I'm going to explain you now. So basically I have to create a sketch. So for creating that sketch, select the sketch and select the plane where you're going to give a sketch and start creating the sketch. So this is going to act as your uh, uh, profile. So let me So whatever sketch you're going to do for this it should be tangential with the uh, base wall what you can see here so the sketch all the sketch whatever you do won't be accepted by the software so it should uh, meet the criteria so now you have the option for real limited uh, the limited option if you go to the basic you can see the basic output so in the real limited you have option to create the planes so I'm going to create some planes and limit the place where you're going to get the uh, output so let's say this is my limit here and you can see that uh, the whatever you call the user flange in, is being created between the limits and according to the sketch which I have created and according to the uh, spine which I have selected. So that's about uh, the working of user flange under the real limited option in the gender sheet metal design work pigeon kits every five. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope this uh, particular tip is going to be helpful in your uh, sheet metal career. Thank you so much for watching.